Write down the assignment. Okay, are you done? Well, yeah, sure, kind of. All right. Let's say our goodbyes. Miss Evelievna, we can all go to the principal. We can all ask him not to fire you. It's Ranovich's fault, that creep. That's Magnum's face, oh, yeah. bro. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the complaint. Yeah. Okay, let him settle run. down, everyone. Let's just calm down and not start a war, all right? Leave Ranovich alone, okay? But you're getting fired because of him. Everybody knows that. Valia, there are moments in life when fighting is futile. The best thing you can do now is just step aside and keep silent. But it's just weakness. Or wisdom. I know that it's hard for you to understand now. I hope you'll understand when you grow up. Uliana, excuse me. I'm waiting for you in the car. I'll be right there. Well, that's it. You have your next class. Get going now, or I'll catch hell. Right. Come How can it be? Yeah, that's not fair, is it? Yeah, is no, so it's no. Totally no, I have no to take this class. Oh! <sighs> oh, hello there, Uliana. What do you want? To say goodbye to my favorite teacher. Well, goodbye then. It's a pity to leave school. How many years have you worked here? Ten? You could have kept working. I warned you, I need to be loved. Listen, Ilya. If you think that your dad's money will help you live a careless life, then you are wrong. If it's empty here, no money will help you do anything worthwhile. What? Shove your fine words where the sun doesn't shine. You should have understood this long ago. That money decides everything, and we have lots of it. We have nothing else to talk of about. Of course you walk away. There's no comparing us. You're a loser. What did he want? To hurt me as badly as he could. The Fourth Passenger Perhaps it's for the best. You know, I'll go to Moscow, closer to my son. Oh my goodness. Stop lying to yourself. You hate Moscow. As for Grishna, <laughs> he's 18. He doesn't need your help. Girls, parties. Remember, you already gave birth to Grisha at his age. Mm-hmm. I nearly got kicked out of school. Grisha had stomach aches or bad colds all the time, and Valerica took over for me so many times. <sighs> yeah, but you made it. We divorced, by the way, if you remember. Uh, no, I don't want that for my son, so let work and studies come first for him. Mm hmm And you think he's going to listen to you? <sighs> All right. You've grown boring, Uliana. You're 36. Your son's grown up, and you're free and beautiful. Why the hell would you go to Moscow? <clears throat> Why don't you go to a resort and have an affair with someone instead? <laughs> Sveta... What a fair. Normal men are long gone. <clears throat> when there's a will, there's a way. You should change your image. Color your hair and put on a prettier skirt. Perhaps men would appear suddenly. I'm happy with the way things are. Dear Uliana, I guess I won't live to see your wedding. Well, I guess you won't. Yes. Hi, Valera. Oh my gosh. But is he okay? All right, I'm on my way. What is it? Turns out Grisha got arrested. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Oh, nice, you're a woman. Maybe we'll be lucky with the fourth passenger. Mom, what's the difference? We're only here for one night. It does matter, Ninoshka. Anything can happen. Sometimes life can change in a few seconds, don't you think so? Uh, what's your name? Uliana. I'm Ina Sergeevna. Ninoshka, my daughter. It's nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Oh, 
Hello, ma'am. Is this really a compartment car? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, great. Look, we can arrange my transfer to the lounge car. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Yeah? I'll ask the train master. Really? Thank you very much. Not at all. Hello, Dima. Dima, hi. Oh, sorry. Can't hear you. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, it's been such a mess here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't believe it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll come tomorrow. We'll deal with this. All right, sure. No, no need to. I told you I'll do it. I told you. Good evening. Um, we'll discuss it when we meet later. Be careful, please. Those are important drawings, all right? Actually, you took my place. <sighs> sorry. I always confuse the top and the bottom. I'm sorry. I'll move my things right now. I apologize. <sighs> Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing changed. Tomorrow night at your place, just like we agreed to before. Yes. Yes, yeah, all right. Great. Yeah, sounds and good. That was just the first lines of our hit parade. Right after <sighs> that, the news block coming Excuse your way. Excuse me, is this necessary? I want to hear the news. Well, actually, you're not alone here, so I don't care. And maybe we don't want to listen to your news. Uh, do you mind, ladies? Mm -mm. Listen to anything you like. That's three against one. Would you lower it, please? Just lower it. There's a draft. Well, it seems like you woke up on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> or perhaps you're one of those women who just can't stand men. But why would you say that? Well, we've only met a few minutes ago, and you've already reproved me several times here. Actually, it most likely indicates your poor upbringing and not my bad mood. Oh. Your husband is a lucky man. You really are a source of very good manners. I am divorced. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Are you still insulting me? No, I'm trying to defend myself. You never give in to a woman? I gladly give way to women when they're pleasant, but as for passive, aggressive, nervous, bitchy women, I, I have no tolerance for them. That's it. I'm done with you. Uliana, where are you going? I'll go dine in splendid solitude. Have a nice meal. <laughs> if you ask my opinion, I'll be straight with you. You weren't a bit kind to her. Just the opposite. You weren't nice at all. Well, actually, I think that you're a rude man. Am I? That's not good. I've been terrible. I'm sorry. It's been a crazy day. For real. Sir, there are no seats in the lounge car. You'll have to go into the compartments. Wow, are you following me? I have to. Why is that? I'd like to apologize for my behavior earlier. I didn't mean to be rude to you, I'm sorry. Um, it was uncomfortable. How about... How about I offer you dinner? Is that a bad idea? All right, how can I redeem myself? Just try being silent. Can I dine next to you? There's no spare seats anyway. Sure, I guess. I've seen you somewhere before. You're an actor. No, you're mistaken. <laughs> I've got a camera for faces. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you saw me in the street? <laughs> In the street, you're being ridiculous. People like you don't walk in the streets. 
tie and I do. Look at you. <laughs> You're drinking wine. Yeah. Tell you what, I'll tell the bartender to bring you another glass and it'll be on me. Well, thank you, handsome. That sounds great. You bribed her. What else could I do? Excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Can I get a chicken fried steak and uh, uh, a glass of wine for the lady there at the bar, please? Yeah. Of course. And for me, I'll have a vegetable salad, please. Mm-hmm. So are you going to Moscow for business? I'm visiting my son. <laughs> You're a typical citizen of St. Petersburg, then. And you're typical of Moscow. You don't like Moscow? It's a bit snobbish. That's actually a snobbish remark, by the way. Mm. <gasps> Again? You've broken all the glasses. I'm sorry, Viktorovich. Oh, you're sorry. Your apologies cost me a lot. That's it, Igor, I'm done. You can be sorry, but you're fired. No, I broke it. I broke it. What? It's not this young man's fault. We did it. Yes, that's correct. Well, in that case, just clean it up and add the broken glasses to our <laughs> guest bill. <laughs> Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't run. I'm feeling sick. Just take it slowly. Just take it real slow, okay? Grisha, you should have drunk less. Calm down, I... I... I told you that it was an accident, that's all. Oof. An accident? How's that? They tied you up, made you drink excessively, and then made you break the shop window. Is that your story? I'm really sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. Get in the car. We'll talk at home. <laughs> Why is your son in Moscow? He thinks that there are more career prospects in Moscow. My husband and I were born there. And you said you didn't like Moscow, right? No, I don't. That's why I moved to St. Petersburg after graduating school. My husband also moved to the North Capital to teach at a university, by the way, and that's where we met. And you decided to stay in Petersburg forever? I did, but my husband didn't like the Petersburg climate. I understand him. When I divorced Valera, he moved to Moscow. Our son followed him too. Your son is right. You know they say, Moscow is Moscow. Well, yes, lots of temptations. I mean, there are night parties and alcohol and money. But temptations are everywhere. It'll just feel more comfortable when your son is near you more control, but it's just an illusion. Well, perhaps. So you don't want to go to Moscow? No, not for a moment. You know, I don't like Moscow much either. My story is very much like yours, but reversed. I've lived in Moscow for only 15 years, but I was born and raised in Petersburg, actually. Well, why don't you move back to St. Petersburg if you don't like Moscow? I have work and a house yeah. and friends in Moscow. Right. If you'll please excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, but our dining car is closing. Closing? How is that? You must work all night. Unfortunately, we have already worked for an extra hour today. Mm, no, but I want some more champagne. Did you hear my girlfriend? Come on, bring more champagne now, quickly. I'm sorry, but the bar is closed. Open it then. I'm sorry, but I can't. Do you know who you're talking to? Do you know who I am? I can buy your dining car with you and your whole train in it. Do you think that you're smarter than me, huh? You big dumb waiter. I'm sorry, but the rules are the same for everyone. Hey, wait, hey. You don't work here anymore. Jeez. Let's leave. I don't want to listen <sighs> to this at all. Me neither. Waiter, bring the bill, please. It's just another example that... Money spoils people. You know, the absence of money doesn't make people any better. Many people became robbers and murderers because of poverty. These are extremities. Just like your theory that all rich people are bad people and that they're losers. Here, take this. Uh, Apply uh, it, do you. it quickly. And in a minute, uh, I want you to go to bed. 
Don't go to bed yet. I want to hear how he got into this problem. Dad, I've explained it a hundred times. We were celebrating a birthday. That's how it happened. And you decided to impress your new friends. What does that matter? I had no idea it would be like this. I didn't know, Dad. <sighs> All right. I'm really sick now. I'm... I'm never gonna drink again. Really. But why did you break the window? I don't remember. Hey... Dad, come on, don't bother me about this. I know I messed up, and I'm sorry. What else do you want to hear? Don't bother, how's that? Grisha, you need to study, and you're doing God knows what. Dad, would you relax? I'm studying at your own... your own university, right? Huh? So what, Grisha? Do you think I'm going to cover for you? Don't do it, then. Do you think I won't make it without you? I've got my own life. All right. Your mother will come tomorrow, and we'll talk about your life with her. But, Dad, hold on a second. Could we... Could we not uh, tell Mom what happened to me? She already knows you were arrested. And about the shop window? Does she know that I drank too much as well? Not yet, but I'm not going to hide it. Learn to be responsible for your doing, son. Now go to bed already. The lust for pleasure spoils a man, not the money, as you seem to think it does. As soon as this lust takes over a man, he always finds a chance to fulfill his desires, even if he's poor. Well, I don't know. I think appetite comes with eating. And the more money that he has, the more things he desires. Well, what about philanthropists and charity? Well, those are definitely exceptions. Good evening, passengers. No, we hope it's just you're because having rich people are always exposed. Us. We'd like to announce that the dining car will Look stop here, serving food in 10 minutes. Take my pupil, I repeat, for example. the dining car he's will a stop rich serving daddy food son. in 10 minutes. He thinks he's allowed to do anything, and his father's the same way. I was totally fair to him, and what did I get? I still got fired. It's a shame. And nothing can be done? No, nothing. Do you know how long the train stops here? About 10 minutes. All right, I'm sorry. Why talk about sad things? Tell me a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's the right time for jokes, though. We'll wake up the entire train. Well, tell me about yourself, then. I'm afraid my biography would put you to sleep, actually. No, but that's not fair. You know everything about me, and yet I know nothing about you still. All right. What do you want to know, then? Where do you work, for example? I'm a builder. That is interesting. A foreman? No, I'm an engineer. We, we build houses in Moscow, in the center of the city. Uh, a lot of big projects. Moscow has changed a lot. Yeah. I can even show you around the new sites of the city when we get there, you know? I don't know if I'll have much time. It's time for bed. Yeah, you go and I'll, uh, I'll come later. <laughs> Thank you very much. Goodbye. 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 Thank you, Volodia. Thank you very much, too. Let me help you carry your things to the cab. Oh, no, thank you. Someone's meeting me. Ah, uh, I see. Well, this is goodbye. All the best, then. All the best to you. <sighs> well, Liana, <sighs> let's meet this week. Uh... I'll show you our new projects? Sure, all right. I'll give you my phone number. Uh, okay. Would you hold this, please? <sighs> okay. Uh -huh. Uh 
All right. May I? Sure. <laughs> this is mine. Mm -hmm. I'll call you for sure. Vladimir Gorgievich! Roman! I didn't know you were meeting me here. Thank you. This is Roman, my cousin. All right. Nice to meet you. Oh. All right, let's go. Come on. Velodia, my mittens. Oh, right. Sorry, I forgot them. Mm -hmm. I'll call you. I'll call you in a couple of days. <laughs> I'll explain everything to you later, perhaps. Oh, Luyana. Oh, there Natasha. you are. Hello. Hi. I thought Valera would meet He's you. got something urgent at school. Oh. All right, all let's right. go. Let's go. Oh, wait. How's Grisha? He's all right. He slept well and went to a lecture today. I'll tell you everything in the car. Mm. So how was your trip? Did you meet her already? Good. Yeah, I'll try not to be late. Say hi to Ileana. Is your ex-wife here? <sighs> yes, she came to see Grisha. Oh. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. I'm surprised at how you can have a normal relationship with her. Well, we're all grown-ups. We talked. Uh, good afternoon. We made a decision, and we split up with no drama. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, that's... Is she going to stay with you? No, we're doing repairs. We can hardly fit ourselves. Uliana will stay at her teacher's. That's right. Otherwise, Natasha could just get jealous of her. Why would she be jealous? She knows that I love her. And Uliana and I just have a common baby. She's... she's a good person. She just can't fix her personal life. And that's all there is to it. Well, perhaps that's why she's alone. Why? But she's nice and kind, clever and mellow, easygoing. And yet you divorced her. Well, you know how it happens. First off, you know, um, our son grew up and we, we fell off a bit, to say the least. Not a family, but a convenient cohabitation, I suppose. We grew very different. Very different. What are you looking for? My car keys, as usual. <laughs> I gave them to Natasha. She's meeting with Uliana. All right. <sighs> By the way, Jenna, why don't I introduce you to her? They're practical and reliable. She needs someone like you. It'll be my pleasure, I suppose. <sighs> Come in, come in. <clears throat> Is this Grisha's? Well, it's not Valeris. Well, that's weird. Grisha was never into this stuff. Oh. I always felt that nothing good <clears throat> would come out of his moving to Moscow. Come on, Uliana. The boy had a drink. He's regretted it a hundred times. What is this? Now we only have to find condoms and drugs. And we'll get the full picture. I'm sorry, Mr. Flipovich. Uh, yeah, good morning. Mr. Flipovich, forgive me. I had no idea it would be like this. Tatiana, what would you do in my place? To be honest, yes. I'd have fired the fool already. Mm -hmm. Mr. Flipovich, but you're kinder than that. There's a limit to everything, Tatiana. Am I fired now? Am I? Oh, Mr. Flipovich, oh my God, say no. Uliana, please just don't jump on Grisha straight away. I can really see how worried he is. Valera, I know how to talk to children. <laughs> well, sorry. I forgot it's your vocation. I'm home. Grisha. <laughs> I miss you so much. All right, you're going to strangle me. <laughs> what is it? Hmm? Well, all right, that's it, let's talk. 
sit down. Are you going to, uh, preach to me now? No. But I do want to take you home, to Petersburg. Mom, no. Why do that? L look, look, I've made a mistake. I admit that to you. But what does Moscow have to do with it? Haven't I tried beer in St. Petersburg, or what? Well, have you tried it? I took a few sips at Lekka's place at the New Year's party. Mm. Oh, I see. I found cigarettes as well. Do you smoke? No, I don't smoke cigarettes. Well, why are they there, then? One of my friends left them here. Okay. I took them from you. Is that clear? Mom. I'm not a child. I am an adult now, and if I want to drink or smoke, I can drink and smoke, and legally, but I don't want to do it. <sighs> no, I won't do it, Mom. I mean it, Mom, that's all. Tatiana, Tatiana, you're going to drown this place. Stop <laughs> crying already. <gasps> Thank you, Mr. Flipovich. You're very kind. I promise I won't let you down again. I'll be very, Calm very attentive. Calm down already. <gasps> Make me some tea right now. You want the usual? Green without lemon or sugar? And coffee for me, please. A little cinnamon cream and no sugar. No, thank you. And with sugar. Please don't mess it up like you usually do. Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why she's getting paid. She's a lousy secretary. Uh, hey, Dimitri, can I sit at my desk, please? Sure, go ahead. Thank you very much. <clears throat> no, really, why are you nursing her? She's my secretary, not yours. She's still young and inexperienced. That's okay, she'll improve. Moreover, she's pregnant, and pregnant women are absent-minded. That's amazing. You're as dough-faced as you were at the University of Elodia. Today she <laughs> messed up with the ticket. Tomorrow she's gonna forget to remind you about an important meeting. Trust me, man. Well, I took a compartment instead of a lounge car. It didn't kill me. <laughs> and moreover, I met someone, a charming young teacher. Not bad for a train. I can see that you're shining, like an orange. All right, tell me more, man. Come on. <laughs> we talked the whole night, my friend. We didn't even notice how time passed, either. It's like Lermontov's poems. Yeah. Is that all? What else do you want? African passion? There was none. We talked about everything. She even promised to meet me if she finds the time. I really hope she finds the time and figures it out. Oh, I'm sure that she's going to find the time. Women usually cling to men like you, you know? She doesn't know who I am. And why is that? I told her I'm a construction engineer. <laughs> That's bold, Velodia. Men usually paint themselves in bright colors to impress women, and you did the opposite here, man. Look at you. I don't want to lie to her. It just happened, you know? She doesn't like rich people. Is it envy, you think? No. There's another story. It doesn't matter. Anyhow, now she has a reason for it. I didn't know how to get myself out of this. Get yourself out of it? You lied and that's that, my friend. No. The truth is that lying makes me sick. I'll have to tell her the truth next time I see her. What next time do you mean, Velody? Are you getting yourself a mistress? You better take care. Alexander's going to tear your head off. Stay out of this. I'll deal with my personal life on my own. Well, it's your personal life, but don't forget that you're playing with fire here. So, uh, have you seen it, by the way? She's an amazing woman. There. And I mean amazing. All right. Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, nice. Stop! Ready! You're as fascinating as ever. I love working with you. Thank you. Just don't leave a single wrinkle on the photos. And work with the waist, please. At least five centimeters should be removed. It'll be okay, don't worry. And yet I look my age in the photos I see. That's nonsense. You don't look older than 20, my dear. Don't worry. 
No, Artem, I'm serious. I'm 29 and young leeches are lining up. They want to take my place. Oh, come on. Who? Who'd replace you? You're miles away from those adolescent girls. <laughs> you know how to cheer a person up. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, is Velodia coming to see you? I doubt it. He doesn't like shows. He's weird about that. All men like shows. And he doesn't. There are a ton of pretty girls there. Well, considering his position, he can allow himself to be weird. He's more fond of opera, ballet, theater. At least he doesn't make me go to these snore fests. <laughs> I'm so glad, Uliana. <laughs> uh, when did we see each other last? Ten years ago. Last time I came to Moscow was the school reunion. Ah, oh, time flies so fast. Mm -hmm. So... You look so pretty. But your eyes are sad. How come? I don't even know where to start. We'll start with tea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to have tea with pastries. I found the recipe in this magazine. You'll tell me everything. And it'll feel better then. I don't know where to start. I mean, it all happened in a single moment. Tatiana, I got fired from work and my son Grisha got arrested. He got drunk and smashed a shop window. He says it won't happen again, but I'm scared it will. <laughs> don't you remember how you nearly got kicked out of school in the 10th grade? Gulka Stroganova turned us in. We had a party and didn't invite her. Ha, a party? You were drinking champagne. I barely managed to convince the principal from expelling you. <laughs> Do you think that I'm worried about Grisha for no reason? Dear Oleana, I think you need to fall in love. All right, that's it. See you tomorrow at 8. Don't be late. Sorry, Mr. Petrovich, I blacked out. We didn't sleep, the baby was fussy. We can't seem to get one good night's sleep these days. I don't care about that. At work, you need to work, not sleep, all right? To home? Uh-huh. Listen, when you drive sleep, you risk my life, by the way. You think about that, or I'm gonna start thinking about a new driver. All right, let's go. It was a crazy day. I even became your relative, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just didn't want that lady to know more than needed. Uh, you know? I understand. She's a beautiful lady, by the way. Very beautiful. Yeah. Very unusual. Alexandra, can you stop making these bows? The whole house is full of them. Why, what's wrong? I like making them. You seem irritated. Thank you, it was delicious. Yes, Father's cook excelled himself. We'll only order from him now. Kira will come tomorrow and clean this up. I'm tired after the photo session. Why don't we go to the bedroom? I'll massage you a little bit. <sighs> go to bed. I really have to get some work done right now. All right. Don't wake me up when you go to bed. Oh, look, Vaska is so funny yes. here. <laughs> he works in an Israeli clinic now. I know. He writes to me sometimes and invites me to visit him. Maybe I'll go.
Why are your eyes shining so bright? It's my fellow traveler. He's offering to meet me tomorrow. Well, is he good looking? He is, but it's not the most important thing. Don't even think about it. Just say yes. I'll say yes. The negotiations went very well. The contract is in the bag. You look like a puppy dog with two tails. I slept well. <laughs> Thank God. Have you talked to Alexandra's father yet? <sighs> I had no time. Okay, why are you holding back? We'll lose those contracts. If it's too hard for you, just let me do it, That's right? a great idea. Do it. Go ahead and do it, my friend, yes. You know, I hate it when you get into these romantic moods of yours. You look like an <laughs> idiot. You still thinking about that teacher, man? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am. And what about her grabbed you so? I don't know how to explain it. She's real, you see. She's so alive. She says what she thinks. She doesn't try to adapt or find out what I think. That's it. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't know who she's looking at. Why should she pose in front of an engineer? Oh, Dimitri. Velodia, <laughs> all women think about the same things. Money and marriage. Even better if it's in the same package like you are. Today I'll tell Uliana who I really am, and I'll talk to Alexandra. <laughs> You're a simple fool, you know? <sighs> Remember, Alexandra's father's not gonna forgive you, okay? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Come here, I need something. Sure. Tanush, order me two tickets to the Bolshoi for tonight, please. All right, Mr. Flipovich. Two tickets tonight, VIP seats. No, not VIP seats. Uh, although that's good. Take the best seats you can get, please. Oliana, don't take off your shoes. <laughs> Come in and sit down. Hello. Good afternoon, worker. Hello, Liana. <sighs> I thought Grisha would be home, but he called and said he would be late. Yes. You look beautiful today. Oh, I look as <laughs> usual. No, I really mean it. You're blossoming, actually. This color suits you very well. Right, Natasha? Yeah, the color is good, <laughs> but the cut could be better. Uli, <laughs> Uli, we're friends, right? Mm -hmm. uh, sure. Uh, don't take offense, all right? You dress well, but kind of conservatively. Do you think so? Yes, I do. There are a lot of good shops now. We could go shopping if you want. Why are you criticizing her? She looks great. Uliana, you look beautiful. I wanted to make it better. Did I offend you? No, I'm not offended at all. Don't worry. Let's go shopping tomorrow. All right. It's a deal then. <laughs> oh, Grisha, hello. <laughs> hello. Oh, hey. Grisha, finally. I'm here for like five minutes. Hold on, five minutes? <sighs> I thought we could chat. And why aren't you wearing a hat? Mom, I invited a girl to come to the exhibition and I really like her. She said she would think about it. Did she think about it? She did, and she agreed, but she said mm -hmm. that she could only come today. Oh. Is it okay if we all go together? She's awesome, and I'll introduce <laughs> her to you, I promise. All right, Romeo. Go ahead, go ahead. All right. Wait. Bye, thank you. Wait. You're very beautiful. Goodbye. Uh, do you have money? Bye, yeah, I have. You need to wear a hat when you go out. All right. And don't be too late. Tell him not to be late. All right. All right, Valera. Well, I'm off. Well, I'll walk you thank out. Thank you, Natasha. Goodbye. Oh, uh, yeah, look, you have a, a stain on your pants there. I do? Yeah, it's not safe to visit <laughs> us in such right. fine clothing. <laughs> oh, what's this? Hello? No, no, I can't come now. I'm, well, I'm going to be late for a meeting. Yeah, no, we'll talk tomorrow. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, da 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 Hey, my friend, give me a ride to the subway. To the subway? Yes. <sighs> what was that? Why do you have to criticize her so harshly? Why not? <sighs> Let her wear what she wants. Mm -hmm. And stay an old maid. <sighs> Maybe she was going to the theater with a man. More likely. 
She's going with her teacher. You know, I think I have the perfect guy for Uliana. Do you? Do you remember Genka from Economics? Ah. Oh. Is it that boring bloke who came to your last birthday, that guy? Is he really boring? Of course he is. All right, I won't introduce them. Oh, Valera, don't listen to me. I got too excited and said too much. He's not that boring. Let's set them up. Hmm? Do you think she'll agree to meet with him? Well, why not? We'll invite her out for coffee at a cafe, and <sighs> Jenedy will show up. Let's do it. You think? Mm-hmm. And we'll introduce them. Hmm? Polina wants to go. We'll go to a cafe after that. Have you fallen for her, huh? <laughs> Take care. I've known Polina since first grade. <laughs> She's cool, but very capricious. Uh, don't worry. I'll deal with it. <laughs> Guys, why are you running so fast? We're lagging behind. See ya. I told you. <laughs> it was a good guess with the opera. I've long waited to see La Traviata, but I never had good company to go with. I haven't been to the bull show in a long time. That's great. Oh, hey, look. We have a little spare time to kill. There's a nice restaurant. Let's go get a bite. I want to eat food. Let's just take a walk. You're not letting me take a swing. <laughs> Express myself, impress you, romance you properly. Or to pull the wool over my eyes, in other words. You know, all these attempts to flirt seem like deception, and I don't like deception. I can't stand any kind of lie. You hate lying more than rich men? Oh, yes. And why do people lie? Well, I don't know. There are many reasons. For instance, have you heard of white lies? White lies are still lies, I believe. People are afraid of responsibility. And that's why they lie. If a man lies to me, I'll never trust him again, all right? You're... You're not the easiest person. Mm-hmm. Quite the opposite. Be yourself, Elodia. You know I've got an offer. My son told me that there was an exhibition nearby. We can go check it out. All right, let's go then. <laughs> Why do we go to the <laughs> exhibition? We should have stayed at the cafe. Thank you guys, it was a wonderful evening. You're welcome, Polina. Anytime yeah. you want to go again, let me know. <laughs> Velodia, this is it. The exhibition Grisha told me about. That's right, it's called Snowy Feelings. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't she? Beautiful. You think? Are you afraid to compliment another woman in my presence? Like it will offend me? Not really. Or maybe she's not quite your taste. Some men are afraid of beautiful women, are you? Not really. But you are afraid. Such women usually demand a lot from their favorite men, right? Look here. You're beautiful. And I'm not afraid. <laughs> oh, come on, Velodia. I'm a realist. I perfectly understand that... Hold on a second what? here. She's much more beautiful than I am. I don't think so. Mom? Ah, oh, Grisha! Actually, I was hoping to run into you here. Are you following me? Hold on, are you serious? No, honey, we're just wasting time before we go to the Bolshoi. Meet Vladimir. This is my son, Grisha. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Where is your girlfriend? Uh, she's over there. Over where? She's over there, Mom. Which one? In the red hat? Uh, that's all right. Why haven't you introduced us to each other? I'll do it later. <laughs> I thought, actually, perhaps we shouldn't go to the exhibition. We might arrive late for the theater. Let's... let's... let's get going. I'll get a taxi, okay? Yeah, okay. <sighs> Where did you find him? Grisha, what do you mean by that? Mom, do you even know who he is? Why don't you tell me? He is one of the richest men in all of Moscow. He's on TV every day, Mom. Ah. ah, the cab's waiting. We're ready. All right, we're off now. Uh, it was mm -hmm. nice to meet you, son. Yeah, same Goodbye. here. Goodbye. Thank you, but don't stay out too late. Okay. 
She's very pretty. All right, Mom. <laughs> You want to hear something funny? Grisha thought you were some oligarch, can you imagine? Am I gonna be rich now? I don't know, perhaps you'll get a big bonus. At least oh, one can hope, idiot. right? I left the Bolshoi tickets at home. Oh. Volodia, look, it's all right. Let's just take a walk instead. No, I'll deal with no, it. No, there's no Just need. let me try to buy some here. Hold on, hold on, don't worry. Volodia. Do, don't worry about it. Do you have any tickets? We only have VIP and side seats in the pit. I'd like side seats in the pit. How much will it be for two? Thank you so much. The subscriber you are calling is what currently a not available. Who? Ugh. Hush, 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 hush. Melodia. He switched off his phone and didn't come to the presentation. All he does is work and work. So tell me, how did you first meet him? He and my father did some big business in the 1990s. They were business partners in several projects, and I don't know. My father liked him. <laughs> he thought that Velodia would be a good match for me, you know? <laughs> Do you know what he told me when we first <laughs> met? <laughs> what? He said he was loyal. And that he wanted to get married once and forever. <laughs> Such a dreamer. Well, you're lucky, I guess. All right, home? Yes, hon. <laughs> be careful. Thank you, Velodia. The opera was wonderful. Well, if you liked it that much, you know, we can go again. So, when are you going back to St. Petersburg? The day after tomorrow at 10 o'clock. So soon. But it's not going to be your last visit to Moscow, is it? Your son is here? Well, of course this is not. For you, sir. Thank you. Oh, there's no need. I... No, Velodia. Thank you, but I'm used to paying for myself. Why do women always have to complicate everything? I know it's silly, but I'll feel more comfortable. All right. I give up, but only for this time. Next time, I'll resist your feministic streak fiercely, and I will. I'll defend the rights of men. It's a deal. Easy, easy, easy. Careful. Here, here, here. Easy, easy. Oh, watch the door. Watch the door. This way. That's it. Oh, sit right here. All right, then. Let's get you comfortable. Okay. Uh. Hand me the phone. Uh, uh, just a second. Here. The subscriber you are calling is currently <laughs> He has it turned off. Ah, to hell with him. Uh, I thought the subway closes later. I didn't think it was so late either. What are we going to do? We'll take a taxi. I'll even let you pay. That's fine. I spent all my money at the restaurant. I don't have any more. Then we catch a taxi. Give you a ride first, and then I go home in the same taxi. It's not a big deal. No, it's uncomfortable. There's a backup plan. Velodia, if you are going to invite me to your place... No better. I want to invite you to visit my artist friend. He lives a few steps from here, right around there. No, it's late already. <laughs> Juliana, creative people don't sleep at night. They create at night. All night. He'll be happy to see us. Please just say yes. I'll persuade him to draw you. I, I promise you won't be sorry. He's a really, really fun guy. Hmm? Yeah. We'll wait for the subway to open and then you can ride it. All right, yes, you convinced Great, me. Great, let's go. <sighs> Leonid is a very talented artist. You're gonna see for yourself right now. Take a look. This is beautiful. You're very talented indeed. I imagine you must be very famous, right? 
Uh, me? Famous? If not for Velodia, I'd be no one. He organized an exhibition for me. Organized? How's that? Well, not exactly organized. All I did is made this loon enter the artist collective, and everyone immediately loved him and started promoting him. That was his beginning. I, I helped him get to where he is today, you know? And look at him now. Let's have some tea. And after that, Lean Ed will commit himself to painting you. He will draw you if you let him. Me? Oh, I'll make some tea. Let me help you. Where's the kitchen? Over there, uh, on the stove. The kettle's over there. There. Cups are in the cupboard. And water's in, in the, the tap. I will find my way. Or in the kettle. Yeah. <sighs> are you hiding the fact that you invested your money in yes, me? Yes, I'll explain it to you later. It just so happens that I am just a simple builder in her eyes. Really? Yeah, it just happened. Please, don't act surprised. Just play along All with right. me. All right. I've put on the kettle and found the cups. Good. Where shall we drink it? Oh, right here. Damn, the fuse is blue. For the third time today. All right. Candles are in the cupboard. Light them up. I'll repair the fuses. Hmm? Be right back. Hello, Dima. I know. I'm sorry. I know it's late. Uh, do you know where Velodia is? Oh, I see. Sorry, then. Goodbye. I love looking at the fire. Me too. We have... a lot in common, don't you think? Apparently, Leonid is also a musician, not just an artist. I never saw him play. I guess some guests left it. It's a pity. I wanted to ask him to play. You know what? I wanted to learn to play guitar, but my mom made me learn to play the piano instead. It's very sad for me, too. I used to play a little bit. Really? Yeah. Well, would you play for me? Oh, no. I haven't played in a hundred years. I forgot everything. Velodia, please. <laughs> it's impossible to say no to you. Just promise me you won't laugh. We'll keep going. Ее придумал в тишине, когда устав от бед и странствий, вдруг удалось забыться мне в пустом. И замкнутом пространстве Создав себе свой идеал За милый образ став в ответе Рассудком ясно понимал Что нет таких на этом свете Но верил Образ я живой, и невозможное связалось, а ты ведь именно такой, ведь именно такой, как я придумал, оказалось, такой, как я придумал. You know, Velodia, this is actually my favorite romance. 
We are very much alike, you were right. I finally fixed the fuses. They haven't changed them at all in this old house. All right, let's get to the portrait. <sighs> You're an early bird, Dimitri. The workday has just started, and you're already busy. <sighs> so tell me, Dimitri, do you, do you ever go to sleep? Ever? I'm like Napoleon. Four hours of sleep, and I'm ready for new victories. <laughs> you are a wonderful man, and I'm lucky to have you. However, right now, I can't even think one minute about work at all. Listen to me. Alexandra called yesterday, looking for you. What did you tell her? What could I say? Nothing. Well, yes, I was with Uliana, with the teacher, if you remember. Love is in the air? I'm confused, Dimitri. I feel sorry for Alexandra, but... But what? You chose quite a time. At the very moment when we're signing a contract, with her father, no less, you're biting the hand that feeds me. Although, it is your business. I'm just the little man. <laughs> Don't bend my ear. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it looks delicious. You didn't even sleep for three hours. I couldn't sleep, like when I was younger. I remember how you couldn't think of anything except your studies. Mm-hmm. I don't even remember when I got married. Do you think I'm jumping in too soon? Here. Take this. What is this? Discount coupons for a romantic dinner for two. Well, thank you, Botticelli. Yeah. Uliana, sit. I'll open it. Mm. Hi, Good Natalie. morning. Come in. Close the door. Oh. All right. Hello. All right. Uliana? Mm hmm? Are you ready? Hold on. I'm... What is this? Wait, am I ready for what? You forgot. I can't believe it. For shopping. <laughs> uh. Shopping. I can't go. <laughs> well, I'll go get ready. Stropov, are you asleep? I haven't gone to bed yet. Should I send the portrait to the home address or to work? Oh, to work. Got it. Oh, that was an evening. I didn't sleep all night. Me too. I was arguing with Stropov. With Stropov? Yeah, about the... the Were well, you exhibition. going to the theater with Stropov? Is that it? I really hate you. Alexandra. I thought we'd go to the theater together, and then I just, I got worn out from work. But you know that I hate the theater. I know. Did you forget about the show as well? I did. <laughs> I hate you. I really hate you. Here we are. Hello. Finally, you're here. Meet Uliana. This is Chenedy. Semenovich Sherbakov. Let's drop the formalities. Call me Jenna. Or simply Sherbet. <laughs> here you go. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, please sit. Excuse me. 
Jenna, you're an economist? Oh, is it written on my face? <laughs> no, it's just all of Valera's friends have been that profession. Ladies, let's order something to eat right away. Oh, thank it's you. It's my treat. Our treat, the both of us. Our treat. Mm. No, it's uncomfortable. This dress looks very good on you. See? Thank you. <laughs> it cost half of my salary, but I couldn't resist. Well, Uliana gets state bonus as an honorary teacher. You're beautiful and talented. If I had half of your brain, oh, I would have divorced Valera a long time ago. <laughs> I guess this is why I married you. I guess so. Okay, boys. We need to celebrate our shopping. Go and get us something tasty. Uh... Huh? Hmm. Uh, well, what do you think? What is it? Mr. Flipovich said they're for his house. He did? Mm. He ordered new ones a week ago. Uh, okay. Listen, what is this? Another mistake. I'm going to fire you, you know that? Uh... Oh, won't do. Go and fix it. <sighs> this one, too? Take all of them. <sighs> Natasha's jealous of me. Hmm. I see. You bet. Uliana's great, isn't she? A little impractical, in my opinion, but we'll fix it. Women can be tamed, you know. Don't try too hard, will you? Hmm. But a decent man with a good salary and serious intentions is a rarity today. Hmm, well, yes. Take a closer look at him. All right, I will. Here's the thing. You know, Valera and I care about your life. Oh, really? Thank you. <laughs> Look here. It's definitely him. The CEO of the Orion Construction Company sponsors this gallery. Here's an article about him, right here. Who's that girl? It's not your mother, is it? His girlfriend's a model and an oligarch's daughter. What does he need from your mother, then? Don't you know those rich bastards are all the same? They try to get lots and lots of women into their beds. I have to tell my mother about him. Look, what if it wasn't him, man? I didn't see him well. I did. Here you go. Tell Artem I'll be there in an hour. All right, bye. I can't talk anymore. Paintings are here. <sighs> so how many are there? Six. Open them? Who is that? A woman, I think. Well, it's not a man. This painting wasn't in the office. I know them all. We didn't take anything extra. Thank you. You can go now. <gasps> Listen. Yeah? I guess these guys are cops. Well, don't panic. I'll stay here. I'll go. All right, then. Uh, hello? We need to get to Orion? Show your passes, please. Passes? Uh, we, we had passes, but we lost them, and we've got an appointment here. We are going to work in Orion. An appointment with whom? Uh, with the director. With the director, yeah. you say? Whom are you going to play? Well, we're loaders. To the director? Loaders? To the director, yes, we're loaders. Good morning, Vladimir Filipovich. Uh, this young man here is saying that you have an appointment with him. Hmm. An appointment? An appointment. Come in, young man. Let him go by. Thank you. Come on, come on. I'll wait here. An appointment, you say? All right, sit down. Please sit down. Can you tell me in ten minutes? I don't need ten minutes. Why are you pulling my mother's leg? And I... have to report to you, is that right? Oh, I see now. 
Of course, it's below your dignity to explain anything to us mere mortals here. We're all the same to you big CEO types. You think that us simple people are just like insects, and you can do whatever you like with us. Oh, we're gonna need more than ten minutes. You wanna order something? I have no money. I'll pay for you. Oh, you'll pay for me? Do you think you can buy me? Like you give me an ice cream and I stay mute? All rich people like you think exactly the same. Do you think that all people who achieve something in life are creeps? I don't know about everyone, but you are. Well, are you gonna say that you two are over or what? Ah, I thought so. What if I say that we are over? Do I look like a complete idiot to you or what? Where to? To the studio. <laughs> Alexandra, your man's here. Go for a walk. Go. Well? I need to tell you something. Tell me what? I have another woman. It was her portrait that I saw, right? What, what portrait? They've brought it today together with your paintings. <sighs> Who's the bitch anyway? Don't you dare call her a bitch. I'm pregnant. Are you going to leave me knowing that I am pregnant? Yes, Volodia. Juliana, I... I'm almost ready. I won't be late. Juliana, I... I won't be able to come. Oh, but why? What happened? I... I'm sorry. I can't explain right now. I'm sorry, but we... We can't see each other... anymore. Right here, Mr. Yakovlevich. Here are the documents for the new contract. Uh, Vladimir Flipovich will come to sign it. But I'm not sure that you're going to like this contract, considering the new circumstances. Considering what kind of new circumstances? Uh, I understand that it's none of my business, but I can't be silent when it's happening behind your back. You know what I mean, sir? Right. How long are you going to beat around the bush? Listen, I understand that it's a merger of the family capital and... You're doing it for your daughter, am I right? But consider... Velodia has another woman now. So instead... In view of the new circumstances currently at play right now, I am offering you a new project, your money and my implementation. Oh. 
Oleana, have some tea at least, please. Don't grieve so deeply, honey. I just really don't understand what happened. Oh, I don't know. But do you know him well? No. I just know that he works as a builder somewhere. Somewhere. Well, what if he's married? Or, you know, something like that. <gasps> Who's here so late? Hi, Tatiana Petrovna. Oh, hello, Grisha. Grisha? Hey, Mom, we need to talk. I've brought you something that you'll be interested in. Well, so, any questions concerning the contract? Nothing about the contract, although I have another question. How is it, how are you and Alexandra? It's all fine with Alexandra. Who's the other woman? I'm sorry for being so straightforward. It looks like a little bird told me the truth. I've been offered another contract. But okay, don't worry, Volodya. I know how you work. And anything can happen. I believe in you and I believe in your work. We're signing the contract. As for Alexandra, well, I know my daughter. And I can't blame you for, for finding another woman. For that. No. no more condoms, honey. Are, are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I need to get pregnant immediately. Okay. <laughs> well, that's great news. But don't worry. The baby is going to have Velodia's last name. Mm, well, then you've really found the wrong man here. Well, the right man doesn't work. What can I do if he hasn't slept with me for two weeks? He thinks I'm just going to give him to that tramp. <laughs> Even I feel sorry for the guy. Sorry? Being sorry is not for you, not for people like you. Do you think I don't understand why you sleep with me? Your friend has achieved success in everything he's done. And you're always overshadowed by him. At least here, you can hurt him. What do you think I am? A stupid blonde? Do you want to know the truth of why I am with you? Because I can keep you on a short leash, that's why. Crap! You're so clumsy. Pour some salt on it quickly. Now... I'll wash the trousers later. Here we go. <sighs> oh. 
Oh, God, I think he likes her. Huh? We've made some progress. Mm. He asked for her phone number. Give it to him, then. <laughs> Do you think she likes him? It's hard to say. Still water runs deep. But they're a good match together. Hmm. He's secretly married. Or a mean person. Uh, mm. What are you mumbling about? Stop setting Mom up. She already... Uh-uh. Uh I'll get it. She already what? Tea's in the pot. Oh, come in. Have some tea with us. Well, thank you. Hello. Uh, hello. By the way, eat with your mouth closed. I could hear you from the hall. Mm. Hmm. Mom, Are you cold? Mm. They're setting you up. Can you imagine that, huh? Well, well, matchmaking has always been an honored occupation. And the strongest marriages are entered into with cold heads. Go ahead and pour. Got it? Hello, Genity. Hello. This is for you. Oh, thank you. All right, here's the plan. First, we take a walk through the boulevard. No, thanks. I don't want to take a walk. It's very cold. That's fine. If we go quickly, uh... Look, I have a coupon. Two dinners for a discount. At the romantic Botticelli restaurant. Oh, Botticelli, their... Their prices are high. I know of a pancake <sighs> cafe that's really nearby. But we can use those discount coupons. And I want to eat there so much. Come on, let's go. Oh. Let's go the limit. Come on. Let's go. It's so tasteless here. Well, I like it. Today I'm most honored to offer you a brand new menu. Excuse me, we have these coupons. Well, I see. In that case, sir, the following meals are included. There you are right there. What is this? Do you call this a discount? Yeah. Uh-huh. The thing is, we serve this meal with expensive port wine. Can we have it without port wine? Sure, I can ask. You see that? They're simply fooling us with these. All these flyers are lies. Unfortunately, no. Sure, you have the right to refuse, but the price will be the same. The port wine is included, sir. Oh, we don't need your port wine. What if I simply don't want your port uh, wine? Excuse what us. What if it isn't port wine at all? Excuse us. No, 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 of course. You've stuck an expensive label on cheap wine. Ridiculous. Goodbye. Yes, goodbye. We should have taken a walk. No way. They're really swine in there. Yes, really. I stopped going to restaurants a long time ago. Why waste crazy money if I can do, uh, uh, something more serious, huh? Which is? For example, I'm saving up for a flat to, to create a family with someone I can rely on. Someone you can rely on? Of course. Yes, this is who I am. A woman has to match me. It's not easy, you know, to live with someone. Yes, I guess so. A bird in the hand is what interests me, not two in the bush. What's important to me are these things. A good occupation, for example. Not a fashion girl, no. <sighs> but a teacher. <laughs> not, well, for example, or a doctor, but the main thing is love for, for, for children, don't you think so? I'm a romantic deep down. Me too. Why don't we have some old wine like students? I know a place. You'll like it. It's right up here. <sighs> Actually, Jenna, why not?
Well, you see, I told you I'm a romantic. Here you go. Cheers. Here's to us. Huh? Take care. It's hot. I've just imagined us sitting together on a seashore. <laughs> it, it's warm, hot even, I'd say. It's nice. The tide is humming. We're watching the, the, the would sunset. Would you like a ride? Huh? I said, would you like a ride? <laughs> Discounts for lovers. Look, it's just for us. Huh? Let's go the limit. Hmm. OK, then another time, perhaps? That's all right. A man can afford it once in a lifetime. Let's go. No, I really don't want Let's to. Let's go. We're looking at the starry sky full of uh, mysteries. That's good. Uh, we understand each other without words. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Large circle, 20 minutes, 500 rubles. Small circle, 300. Small circle, yes. Small? Good. Well, the sun is already rising. And we're still on the beach. There's no need for words anymore, is there? Right? <laughs> I don't want anything. I'm feeling sick. Well, how about some fruit salad, then? No. I'm finished. Yes, I'm on my way. All right. Okay, I need to go now to an ultrasound at 10. Do you want me to come? To the gynecologist? Are you crazy? Do you remember what you promised me, huh? What did I promise? <laughs> Do you see my behavior? No drama and no hysteria, nothing. I'm just waiting for you to send back that portrait. I didn't promise you that. Hello. Hello, I'm from the reproduction sensor. Can I speak with Alexandra Minkelnova? She's not here. What should I tell her? It's her husband. This is about IVF. Tell her that the doctor won't be available this week. We can offer her an appointment next week or another doctor. Hold on one second. IVF is in, in vitro fertilization. Yes, that's right. Will you tell her? Yes, I will. Thank you. Goodbye. For the road. Well, what's this? I already had dinner and I'm gonna sleep on the train. Krish is waiting at the subway. Is that Jenna near the green car? Yes, that's him. Hmm. He seems interesting. Don't you think? He is, I suppose. I guess you're right. <laughs> He's not a con man of any kind, which is rare now. He's very practical for a change. I don't think I'll get lost with him. <laughs> yes, that's right. But your eyes say it all. You do not like him. It doesn't matter. I need to think rationally now. I'll get my teaching job back. I'll get back home and find a place in another school. <sighs> mm-hmm. Well, all right. Let's say goodbye for now. <sighs> you know, Oleana, when I was your age, it didn't work out for me with anyone that I loved. I took care of myself. 
I decided it was not for everyone. I never found real love. School was my home and pupils my family. And I only now realize that I was very wrong. One has to fight hard for love. I mean, to the last drop. I don't want it. I don't. I don't want any more pain or a broken heart. I'm sorry to bother you on your day off, but I need a distraction. I've made some new notes for our project together. <sighs> Get distracted from what? Uh, from household chores. All right, if it goes according to the plan, the construction will be completed by mm. 2014. You Now, if we get new investors... What? If we get new investors... Oh, I understand. When did you first sleep with Alexandra? Hmm... So she told you, didn't she? Oh, Valonia, it was nothing serious. I was gonna end it. You know how things are. Oh, I see. <laughs> Grisha, get a haircut. You're terribly shaggy. And please, no more surprises, or it will end up badly. And you'll get kicked out of the university, you know. It's no big deal if he gets kicked out. Young people somehow think that parents are bound to pay for them and that parents can keep on financing them. It wouldn't work with me. Don't worry, I'm not claiming any of your money. <laughs> Young man, <laughs> believe me, no one knows what might happen. You seem to be a cheapskate. Grisha. What, can't you see it? Either this heel says he's sorry, or he leaves the car. Not a problem. Grisha! Grisha! Grisha, hold on now! Come help me. Liana, where are you going? You know, Jenna, I'm sorry, but I think Grisha is right. Let's go. I'm glad that we're breaking up. Do you think it's that easy to kick me out? Because I will get my revenge on you if you do this to me. <laughs> go pack your things. You'll be back at the bottom of the ladder with your stupid bitch. And do it immediately. I bet you she's as stupid as you are! Mom. Hmm? I'm sorry, I screwed it up for you and Jenna. I didn't mean to, I just... It's all right, Grisha. But... Uh, you need to build your personal life again, Mom. It's okay, Grisha. I've always taught you right. The bitter truth is better than sweet lies. You were right about everything, honey, and... I want to thank you for the magazine. Are you still upset about Volodia? Grisha, you know I... I don't think I've ever loved anyone as much as him. Mom, I just really want you to be happy again. All right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Goodbye. I love you. Bye. Go on. I don't like to be seen off, you know. I know. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. Okay, see you soon. Love you.
tickets leave the cars, please? Fast train is leaving platform one. Fast train is leaving platform one. To Lafortovskaya, there's a company called Orion, you know it? Good evening. Well, accuser, what do you want? You have another charge? No, I thought since it's serious between you and my mom and you're done with that other woman, then, well, maybe... All right. Let's go find a warm place. We'll talk like normal people. Uliana! Velodia. How did you get here? Me? By the first train. I'm sorry, but I know everything and you are married. You're my only bride, Uliana. You... but you lied to me. I understand that you could have found someone much better than me, but I won't let you do it now. Velodia, I'm not cold. It's okay. Fair heat breaks no bones. <laughs> I guess they're gonna send us on a well-deserved parental rest in a couple of years, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's too early for us to rest. What do you mean? We are going to have a baby. <laughs> really? <Huh>? Really? <laughs> hey. We're, we're, we're having a baby! How about that? Yes! <laughs> ah, yes! Ah, yes! Oh, ah, come here. Hush, hush. I love you. <laughs>